shoes that are made to measure. They have a long strap. Okay. Every part of it can move. It's a runner's shoe. This whole thing is a harness. So you get measured and then you put your foot inside and then you tighten this up. Okay. And it snugs up good all over your foot. It even lifts up under your arch right here. Oh, okay. It ties with a knot that's in the Bible. This is a latchet. Okay. Jesus tied his shoes like this 1,500 years later. Wow. You cut them off here. Right about here, you can run like the wind. This thing is stuck to your foot tight on you, and it doesn't saw your toes, and it doesn't squeeze it, and pretty soon it takes the shape of your feet. Wow. And these sandals flex and breathe and conduct electricity, and once they're broken in, they're a lot like bearded men. Okay. They improve with age. <laughs> if you make shoes with rubber, <laughs> they're flat. They're hot. They don't conduct electricity. Rubbers for cars. If you are an avid frog hunter, a gigger, uh, wear, wear your other shoes. <laughs> it's not good for that. And the second drawback, besides slipping on a boat ramp, is that you must wash these shoes and saddle soap. And doing that is required because feet give off acid. And saddle soap has lye in it. Lye neutralizes acid. Okay. And so you wash your shoes and then you drip them and then you put clean soap in them and then you make the leather look like this. Feel that. It's probably 15 year old leather. Oh, wow. Yeah. But if you don't do that, you can tell. Wow. In short order. If you can't saddle soap your shoes, we will be able to determine what's going on between your ears. <laughs> <laughs> by looking at your shoes. Okay. This is a right brain dominant woman. She grounds through her left foot a lot more. And this damage did that. And these shoes have low mileage. The heels show no mileage. So chemistry can destroy these shoes if you don't sound How often? Every three months and absolutely before you store them. Little change. So okay. little change. Little change. Now, once these are broken in, uh, they flex, they breathe, they conduct electricity, and your job is to keep them tight so your foot doesn't move inside there. And in three to five months, the bleeding should stop completely. <laughs> Any toes that turn completely black, snip those right off. <laughs> it's simply no good anymore. Wow. Maybe you'll grow another one. That's pretty amazing. Well, this is my first day here. <laughs> but I have a feeling for this type of work. <laughs> Did you open the shop in 1978? No, I opened in California in 1978. Really? Catalina. In Catalina? Oh, I'm going down there. Awesome. You go there? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm going to go there. Well, if you go into El Encanto, <coughs> up in the back where the ice cream shop was, <coughs> my shop was right there. Wow. I know a lot of people. Very cool. Good uh, now, if you get home and you begin to have the reoccurring dreams, you want a pair of these sandals pretty bad. Okay. You talk to That'd your friend. That'd be me. You talk to your friend, and you tell him, here's the pencil. I'm standing here on a grocery sack that I've cut open. Uh -huh. Draw me. The drawer has to be conscientious. One foot will be bigger, or wider, or longer, or something. But they're never going to be equal. We can't get them equal. Right. So we need two of these in the mail, not fast, okay. drawn by somebody else. Okay. With a check for a money. Okay. And sandals will come to you. And it says sandals made to fit while you wait. But it doesn't say how long you have to wait. <laughs> <laughs> so. Will you measure me on paper so that I don't have to hassle with that and I can just send you a check? But you understand that any tickling that could occur is strictly professional. Would, absolutely. Please? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, that's cool. You sit over there.